Hello Taurus, welcome to another love reading. We're going to be looking at the past, present, and future energies for you in love. And we're also going to look at the energies between you and this person that you might be dealing with. Keep in mind that these readings are general, so take what resonates for you, what applies to you. So let's jump right in for Taurus. Spirits, angels, guides, what messages do you have for Taurus, please? in love. This is going to be a reading for those of you who are already in a connection or have someone in mind. What's going on in their connections there for Taurus? What's going on? Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Mm. Bottom of the deck, this could be the one you've already met, the romantic partner you seek. All right, let's get some more, <coughs> excuse me, let's get some more information. I'm using my brand new Stellar Energy Oracle deck, the physical version. I already have a digital version in my shop, but I made a, um, a version that is actually a physical deck. Um, I don't know, my mind just went blank there. <laughs> Some of the images are the same, but a lot of it is very different. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to put this in the shop just yet, but for now, I'm really enjoying using it. Okay, for Taurus, what are the energies in this connection? What are the energies in this connection at this time, Spirit? Lasting promise, commitment, longevity, future. This connection will stand the test of time. Marriage, commitment. Okay, I'm getting a very interesting message here. Let's see what else we get. What else for Taurus? Tell me more for Taurus, please. <laughs> Wedding bells, marriage, commitment, union. Wedding bells are ringing. I feel like some of you have to free yourselves from a commitment. Either you or the person you're dealing with. There's definitely marriage here <laughs> or commitment here. There's definitely, I mean, these, all, these two cards are all about marriage and commitment, okay? So the fact that there's free yourself right in the middle of that. Let's see what else we get. Let's see what else we get. Let me not get ahead of myself. What other messages do you have for Taurus spirit? What else can you tell me about this connection? Tell me more for Taurus, please. What it is going on in this connection? Ten of Wands, Judgment, Reverse. So oh, we got them all. Sun, Reverse. Wow. Okay. There's a burden here, obligations, something that's weighing heavy on this connection. Mistakes were made, that's what I'm hearing. The moon reverse with the sun reverse here. The moon reverse, Pisces energy. An illusion is being seen clearly, someone has been having a clarity or realization about something. What was hidden is now being seen very clearly. Something was definitely hidden here with the sun reverse and judgment reverse. It's like you couldn't see something. You couldn't see something clearly here. And I feel it has to do with a commitment. Let's clarify and see. Spirit, help me clarify these energies for Taurus, please. What's going on here? Here's the moon. Help me clarify these energies for Taurus, please. There's a mistake. the Ten of Wands here. 
Here's a heaviness here. Page of Cups. <clears throat> Why is the Ten of Wands here? The Hermit Reverse, her Virgo energy. Page of Pentacles. Eight of Cups. So this is what I'm seeing. For some of you, I'm seeing... It's like you've decided to do something about a burden. Perhaps walk away from something or someone. I have the Seven of Pentacles right behind that. <clears throat> so you've been looking at a situation. And it's not... You're having doubts that it's really going to improve. Is what I'm seeing here. This could be you or the person you're dealing with, Taurus. But... There's doubts here, and someone's really considering, I feel, doing something with this burden, dropping it completely, um, not doing it by you know on their own anymore, something like that. And I feel like when that happens, there's like a new opportunity that comes in, or someone wants to make you an offer. But with the Hermit Reverse, it's almost like there's something off about this offer, like they're not listening to advice, or... Um, it's a bad idea because someone's not listening to their intuition with the Hermit Reverse. Um, this could be uh, someone that has ghosted you or you've ghosted them and then here they come. Let's get some more. Tell me more about this Ten of Wands. Right. Show me clearly this ten of wands, please. King of Wands reverse. Again, this is not someone that's thinking about the consequences. This is someone that acts out of impulse. Someone with a temper. Ten of Cups reverse. And then the moon again. So yes, there's something off about this. There's an illusion here that it's like, you need to be careful because you might not see it. Whatever this is, there's something off about this offer that you're receiving because it's like, it's going to lead to more disappointment or it's going to, you know, perhaps someone uh, is thinking of a family and I feel like that's a mistake. There's something off here. Something only looks good on the outside. I feel like there's something here that has led to a burden. It's like there's a heaviness now. Why is the judgment card reverse? Queen of Wands is upright. So we have a King of Wands reverse and a Queen of Wands upright. So you're not even you're not on the same page. Death kind of came out in limbo. Scorpio energy, endings, changes. Why is judgment reverse? I feel like this Queen of Wands wants to get something done. Yep, this Queen of Wands is thinking about breaking free, of freeing themselves. Tell me more about judgment reverse. This is all they're thinking about, but with death reverse, there's a, a resistance to an ending or change. Someone's thinking of conflict, possibly... Of what they're going to lose. Someone's thinking about what they're going to lose with this ending or this change. Could be you, could be the person you're dealing with. Why is the sun reverse? I feel like I've gotten the same, uh, very similar messages for Taurus recently. Why is the sun reverse? Yeah, this has been a long time coming. Someone has been um, dealing with trust issues. I think you know that something's off. And so it's it's putting you on guard. You're very wary, not very trusting. You have your walls up. Um, you've been through the ringer in this connection. Um, maybe you've been hurt in the past. Temperance, Sagittarius energy. Trying to find balance. Something is happening here. Tell me about the sun reverse. 
Interesting. Tell me about this Ace of Pentacles. A new opportunity. Oh my God. And then the Ace of Cups reverse. Okay, so what I'm seeing here is when this new opportunity comes, I feel like you are undecided. I think this 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 commitment, because I feel like a lot of you are already in a commitment, there's no love here. And you're stuck in this commitment. And I feel like you're stuck because maybe you've invested already here or perhaps you haven't really been completely honest, haven't really seen the had the clarity yet i feel like you're trying to find peace and a, and a balance within yourself but i think you're doing that because you're so unhappy you or whoever you're dealing with if this isn't you this is the person you're dealing with there is disappointment here there's a lack of love there is someone that's neglecting themselves not loving themselves because Ace of Cups upright can also be self-love, the way that you treat yourself. Abundance, emotional abundance. So I feel like there's probably some stability, but no love. If this is an offer someone's making you, it's not going to be good for you. And I feel like you're undecided and kind of like unable to make a decision because you feel stuck. That's why we have free yourself. Tell me about Two of Swords. Why is the two of swords here? Yeah. Tell me about the two of swords. This is something that you need. This is something you need to let go. There's the moon in the full reverse. You don't know how it's going, how your future will turn out. That's why you are unsure or undecided. Tell me more about this two of swords. It's a, it would be a very big risk for you. Yeah, but you're not happy. Um, you've had a change of heart. Your intuition is telling you that you're not happy, that you have to let something go. Spirit, I feel it's telling you with the temperance card. It's like speaking to you here. And you're, it's, I feel like you're trying to keep it together. You're trying to keep it together and it's like someone knows that they need to bring this energy in and I don't know why they feel the need to do this. Maybe you could tell me in the comments why someone would want to give you small offers here. But regardless, it's like there's still unhappiness or disappointment. So it's like this isn't enough for you. For some reason, this isn't enough. Or the little that you're getting or the commitment or security that you have, it's not enough. It's, you're not happy. Because your, your mind is changing about this. And it's like because of your intuition. Your intuition is telling you something here. Yeah, your intuition is telling you that this isn't a good place to be with the devil. Let's see. Let's get some more. See how you're feeling about each other what's going on here tell me about the energies that taurus and this person are bringing to this connection spirit tell me about taurus what are their energies at this time what are the energies at this time that taurus is bringing to this connection spirit Second chances, rebirth, resurrection, revival. You're being given a second chance. What about the person that Taurus is dealing with? That's that judgment card right there. What about the person that, ju that <laughs> judgment? What about the person that Taurus is dealing with? What are their energies in this connection? The person that Taurus is dealing with at this time, spirit. Moving forward, movement, endings, cycles. You're moving forward into a new chapter. Hmm. Okay, so Again, um, the energies could be flipped because I have you on this side and your person on the other, Taurus. But you know what I'm seeing here? It's like you 
are thinking of this person asking for a second chance and your person's thinking about you moving forward i feel like this is how you're viewing each other we'll see let's get some more information let's get the animal spirit deck tell me more for taurus It could also just be that the energies are switched for a lot of you, but that's what I'm picturing in my mind right now. It's like you're thinking of giving this person a second chance. And this person is thinking of you moving forward without them, so they want a second chance kind of thing. Tell me more. Tell me more about the energies that Taurus is exhibiting at this time. What is Taurus thinking of being? this time. lamb <laughs> this is this is a spiritual message i'm gonna actually look at the lamb so you can see that i'm not just bsing you um this is a message that's coming in a very special message and i feel like it's that intuition someone is speaking to your intuition is what i'm getting here it could be spirit the lamb is the bearer of an important message its contents can only be heard when a deep level of quiet has been established. Lamb energy is the honest guidance you hear from an old friend, a young child, or sometimes a surprising stranger. Though the lamb's message may channel through another person, the wisdom resonates within you. It will repeat and reverberate until you listen. Interesting. So you are getting a message and I feel this is it's speaking to you. Whatever message this is, it's speaking to you and you can't ignore it. What about the person that Taurus is dealing with? Tell me about their energies at this time. What are the messages that is not the messages? What are the energies? What's the energy that Taurus's person is exhibiting at this time? Nightingale. So this is someone that also has something to say. Nightingale energy is with us when we write, compose, and especially when we sing. Music heals the deepest wounds. This card indicates a need to open the bridge between the heart and the voice. Is there something you need to say? How long has it been since you sang? Turn it up, write it down, and let it out. So this is someone that really needs to... Interesting. They, they are wanting to speak up. And it's almost like they're telling you different things, this person. They're having to switch their delivery. <laughs> it's what I'm pic picturing here. Okay, so let's see. Let's get some more information about how you feel about each other. Tell me more about Taurus and this other person. Tell me more about Taurus and this other person. Tell me about Taurus. What are they thinking or feeling about this person or this connection spirit? I'm thinking or feeling toward us, please. We got the two of wands. What is thinking or feeling about? You know, this second chances card could also be that you're thinking about a new life for yourself, a new beginning for yourself. King of wands. You're making, you're taking some sort of action regarding a new path here the lovers at the bottom of the deck so it's like you're making a choice between what your mind is telling you and what your heart is telling you your mind is very logical it's telling you this is stable or maybe financially stable or the right thing to do but i feel like your heart is telling you but you're not happy that's the message I'm getting it won't resonate with all of you but that's the message I'm getting tell me about the person that Taurus is dealing with what are their energies what are they thinking or feeling about Taurus or this connection eight of wands reverse 
This is uh, being at a standstill, not being able to communicate or move forward. King of coin reverse. Okay, they're not doing well. I have the queen of coin at the bottom. So it's almost like, again, the same energy here with the queen of wands and the king of wands reverse. You're not on the same page. I feel like this person needs you more than you need them. I feel like you are fine with the queen of coin upright. I feel like they're not. And I don't know, we'll clarify it, but I feel like um, the energy here is like, they don't want you to know that. Tell me more. Help me clarify these energies, please. Why is the two of wands here with the king of wands? This king of coin is someone that, yeah, two of cups reverse. This king of coin reverse is someone that cannot make good decisions. Things of themselves, things of material things. Isn't very good with money or finances. Um, and it's not a good partner, unfortunately. I think this person, I don't know. It's like they are, they, they're not progressing forward. Uh, maybe they don't want to or they can't. We'll see when I clarify. But I feel like this decision you're making is regarding a, a connection that's not really working. Can I get one more, please, for the two of wands and the king of wands? Yeah, you're trying to leave a situation. You're probably delayed. You're probably blocking yourself from moving forward towards what would make you actually happy, which is a new beginning here. This is what you deserve, Taurus. A new beginning where you get emotional fulfillment. Um, the Fool requires a risk. This is a risk that you're taking, a leap of faith. You don't know where you're headed or how it's going to end up. You just know that you have to go. Tell me about the Eight of Wands and the King of Coin reverse spirit. Why is the Eight of Wands reverse with the King of Coin reverse? Yeah, I, this person cannot give you anything. Not really. They breadcrumb you. They give you the bare minimum. The Emperor. So they're trying to restore balance here with the Ten of Pentacles. They could also be the ones that are... Um, yeah, look at that. I have the Five of Cups, the Lovers, and the Knight of Pentacles. It's like they want to make you an offer because they don't want to lose this. This is about control with the emperor, wanting to restore balance, wanting to put make things be the way they were. This person could have could have regrets about choices they've made. They want to make you a solid offer, but I feel like this is going to be up to you. Can I get one more, please? Could be uh, dealing with an Aries for some of you. Yeah, see what I'm saying? Like, this is someone that I feel they're doing this because someone's walking away. They could even be the ones that walk away from you. But I'm picking up that this is how they see you. They see you walking away. And I feel like they want to do something about that. <clears throat> Seven of Wands, reverse Queen of Pentacles, reverse the Star, reverse... 